What's up guys we are back as we know the official leak regarding the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 is here. In addition to the leaked images we also have short videos confirming that this is indeed coming from Samsung's official trailer. So yeah that's all legit. We've also seen under display camera technology finally happening on Z Fold 3 and today we have more information on this under display camera tech. According to Icewear's Fold 3's under panel camera solution should get light as much as 40 plus percent which is much higher than any other under panel camera solutions available in market. Samsung is also using new camera sensor for foldable display. According to Total Easter, there will be 16 megapixel Sony sensor under the foldable display whereas current display is still using the 10 megapixel camera sensor. So better under panel solution with 16 megapixel sensor should result in better images overall. On the back there is a triple camera setup which is 12 plus 12 plus 12 same as last year so no upgrades here at all but there is one area Samsung has bringing something which is a very welcome change. Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 will be the first and only foldable phones to have IP certification. Don't know if it will going to be IP67 or IP65, definitely not going to be IP68 Dust and splash resistance still enough for foldables at this date, so they'll still take a name of first foldables to have IP certification. There will be 4400mAh battery inside the Galaxy Z Fold 3 with dual 120Hz refresh rate displays. It will be interesting to see how Samsung optimized dual 120Hz displays at 4400mAh battery and unlike the previous generations, this year there will be both Snapdragon and Exynos 2100 version of Fold 3 and Flip 3. So yeah that said Galaxy Z Fold 3 is breaking multiple records, it's the world's first foldable to have under display camera, as with support, official IP rating, no crease in the middle of foldable display and dual 120Hz display. So yeah that's all for today, Galaxy Z Fold 3's production has begun and it is expected to launch in the month of August. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here for all the Samsung and Fold 3 coverage and let me know what you guys think of this year's Fold 3. Will you get it or will you skip it? Do let me know what are your thoughts and I'll catch you in the next one.